the reflection that was on the carpet every day in our house when I was growing up as a kid. It was an oblong ovoid rainbow. And one day I stopped and I put it on my hand. Looking at the colors, there's a magenta, the yellow, the blue, and the red. Lift it and it would disappear. And I was like, oh. it started changing shape and the colors started squeezing together. I followed it all the way to the peephole in the door. And I remember saying, Mama, 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 look. I figured out where the rainbow comes from. <laughs> it's coming from the peephole in the door. My name's Anthony Epps. I'm a photographer. I'm married. I have two kids. Why am I so into shooting cities in the morning? Why am I getting out of my bed, leaving the house, putting on a heavy camera bag, and going out and doing this? It's not just to take pictures, but it's to have that experience of peacefulness. It's very centering for me. I think we all kind of get that from nature. It's a very similar experience, dawn in the city. It becomes a very personal, emotional experience. You realize everybody else is asleep. The city is an empty canvas. I'm out here by myself, no cars, no people, no noise. Experiencing it, beautiful light. Makes me feel happy. Mm, happy. There's no other way to do it. If I was to say one word, it would be happy. Peace and serenity. You could be on any bridge and have a spectacular view looking either way from any bridge in London. It's all beautiful. I haven't found a city yet that, that rivals London's river views. The moon in there, since it's with us today. For a large metropolis, there's a lot to be said for its natural beauty. It's a very fast, high-pressure city. There's no getting away from that. But there's a few brief moments at the start of the day when you can, when you can just really appreciate the city for itself and not all the stuff that's in it. When the streets are empty, and the light is beautiful, it's very peaceful. When you can be alone with the streets and the, and the buildings and say, gosh, you're really pretty. It looks really nice in, in quiet light in a quiet time. It has a lot to offer in its peacefulness. It's moving, it's moving so fast. Look at those little, little painted patches of clouds there. In the distance, the far clouds. That looks really pretty. Sunrises are unique. I mean, they're very special. Not many people see them. Where sunsets, everybody's going to see that every day. The sun sets, it's beautiful. A lot of people, it's just another day ending. But when you're up and it's beautiful, you cannot help but notice it because there's no distractions. It's this purity of emotion. There's not enough appreciation for just the beauty when it happens, as it happens. People just don't do that enough. You'll see a beautiful sunset, 80% are just doing their own thing. To take a moment to appreciate it is healing. I don't think that's just for me. I know it is for me, and I believe it is for most people. I can't prove it, but I see it. What was your question? Smells like Tati's cooking. It does. Cookies. <laughs>